Hey guys, Weds here. And today I am going to show you what I believe to be the best bill and the only bill you need in this game. Nobody saved the world. Now I heard a lot of things on the internet. The dragon is the beast, but this bill I'm going to show you with this form is the beast. Anyway, let me show you the bill real quick so you can see what I'm talking about. Now to make this build viable, you need to make sure you unlock the turtle, the bodybuilder, and also you need to make sure you unlock the zombie now the zombie is not a great character but it's got this passive that you're gonna need now this passive right here that i'm showing you now let's show you the build the quick charge this comes with the turtle so you don't have to do anything for that and then you can change that now the zomnom nom is the one that comes with the zombie so once you unlock the zombie you're gonna have this at level one now if you can upgrade this to a higher level just go ahead and do so because the higher the better so i still have it at one and i was good to go i didn't need anything and this gives you three percent of the damage you deal is restored as health it's almost impossible for you to die unless you really really try and with this combination that we having right now and then the other passive is the strong man that you get from the bodybuilder and this one i don't have to explain anything you can see where it says the impact damage is plus 300%. So this is very good because you're going to do some blunt damage with the turtle. And then the last one, this right here, you know, you buy from uh, the vendor and you can choose something else. Depends on what you're trying to do with your build. I even tried the stat explosion and stuff like that. But, you know, this is a very good one because you recover 25% of your critical hit damage as health. So if you're doing crit damage, then you're going to get some health and it's going to be impossible for you to die. Now, let's go with the abilities of the turtle that we are using because depends on the dungeon that you are playing. So like, for instance, I was playing this dungeon and then this one requires sharp damage as well as light damage. So, you know, you got to put the first two accordingly. Now, that's why I have uh, the water spray right here because, you know, this one is a pretty good and would come with the turtle. So you need to make sure you get this depend on what dungeon are you using so we got this one here which is the water spray and uh, we also have what comes with the turtle which is the hell shell this is a very good one because this is what's gonna make you do a lot of the things that you can do with this build now it says that you have to hold the a to charge speed and then release it i tried that throughout the game i don't really like it that makes it kind of slow and i don't really like it so if you want to spam the A button, that's a lot better. So I would just keep pressing the whatever button that is corresponding to your system and just do it that way instead of trying to hold it in it. The other one is the, sh the sharp damage that you get from the Ranger. So that's the Arrow Flurry. This comes very early. So, you know, this one of the first character that you unlock in the game. So you should be able to get this that because you need the sharp damage so as long as you get the sharp damage and you should be good to go and the fourth one is the slow instead of that comes with the turtle once you unlock that slot then you should be good to go it's called slow and steady it says hunker down and gain one defense up buff hits nearby baddies with 40 blunt damage cost 30 mana now when you use this you're gonna just spend some mana but it is good to go it's worth it now the best way to play this i mean you can spend button if you want to but you know to make sure you take advantage of the slow and steady what you need to do you need to make sure you hit this button as much as possible then you get some mana up and then once you get your mana then you use this button and then if you get it all the way to five now the higher you get this the better it's going to be so if you get it at five you can get it all the way to five if you have a lot of enemies around then you're going to be able to do a lot of damage as well as staying alive as much as possible i have to tell you it was hard for me to die in this dungeon i never even died once i complete the whole dungeon without ever wiping that's the reason why I say this is the only build you need in this game because this is very good. Anyway, that's all we got for this build. So I'm going to show you the boss fight for this dungeon, Ancient Robot, and you see how the turtle is performing and you will understand why you need this build. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you try it. I will see you guys later.